Alright everyone, welcome back. This is Ryan and this is a seventh video in a series dealing with Zencart, the online shopping cart software program. Now, um, a few things uh, that we do in the beginning of each video is want to let you know this is the seventh video. So you should have already watched the prior six videos because we show you how to install it uh, correctly so that you don't have any problems down the road. And what you'll want to do is get a piece of paper and a pen handy so I can go over a few things and you can make notes along the way. So uh, go up to your address bar if you haven't watched the prior videos and you can go to www. and then the letter U save domains com. And once you're over there, if you scroll down a little bit, you will see the Zencart tutorials. We've also got tutorials on WordPress. We've got Joomla coming up. We've got many others. We also have some on the right side margin there. So I'm going to go into the assumption that you've already watched the prior six videos. You followed the steps and now you're to the point of which we're going to talk about attributes. And attributes are, for example, if you're selling t-shirts and you want to be able to give your customers the ability to choose the color or the size of the t-shirt. So this is the default template that kind of loads up. We've been cleaning it up, working on it, customizing it. Now this is something that should look familiar to you. We've already added a t-shirt here for $19.99. I'm going to head over to my Zencart control panel. And there's three steps that we're going to have to do to work on the attributes. And what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to catalog. You'll go down to option name manager. And in here, we're going to enter in the attribute we want to use. So I'm going to go with size. I'll choose the way that I want it to be uh, check marked or shown. I'm going to choose a drop down. I'm going to go over here to the right side margin and I'll click insert. And I will do another one for color. It's set to drop down. I'll click insert. Okay, I've got two there. I'm going to go back to catalog. I'll go, this time I'll go to option value manager. I'm going to choose size here and I'll start entering the various sizes that I want to offer. I'll choose small. Now the order here is how you, the order in which you want your values to be shown. Small, medium, large, extra large. You can leave it blank if you want to. And I'm going to click insert on the right side. Oops, let's see here. Accidentally click the button twice here. Just a second, let me get back. Okay, I've got my small. I'll, I'll check medium. Insert. Go with large. Click insert on the right side again. And we'll go extra large over the right side. I'll click insert. So now I've got my four sizes here. If I wanted to enter in my colors I could do the same and just continue on. But for this example I'll just quickly just do the sizes. So now I'm going to go up here to catalog again and this time I'm going to go to attributes controller. Alright we're going to choose let's see your clothing are you all right here we go we've got it down here down here you'll see the sizes so I'm gonna to have to choose the small under adding new attributes and over on the right side margin I got insert again scroll down again, highlight size, I'll choose medium, scroll down again, choose size, I'll choose large, scroll up here, click insert. Now keep in mind if you have to watch this video a few times in case you miss something, uh, you can watch it as many times as you need to, and then I'll go to my extra large, I'll choose size again under option name, I'll choose extra large. But let's say, for example, on your extra larges, they cost you a little bit more money and you want to charge 
a little bit more you want to charge two bucks for anybody that needs an extra large so I'll go down here under prices and weights and I'll just type in two dollars and I'll go over here to the right side again up here and I'll click insert and let me show you now how it stacks up here's what I've got I've got my t-shirt I've got small medium large and extra large and for anyone that wants to do a large I'm charging them two dollars there's no charge for the large, there's no extra charge for the medium, and there's no extra charge for the small. So I've got that there. Now I'm going to go to my home page just to see what it looks like. I'm going to refresh it. I'll click on my clothing category here. And let's say somebody's in here and they want to purchase this. Well now it says please choose and here's the size. If I want to choose large, medium, small, if I want to choose the extra large, it says right here that it's two dollars more. I can choose that and then I can add it to the cart and this $19.99 will now be $21.99. And that's how you add attributes over at YouSaveDomains.com. Thank you, and we'll be adding other videos later. Uh, please remember, as always, if you like the video, if you think it's helpful and other people might enjoy it or learn something from it, wherever you're watching this now, there might be a thumbs up sign or a Facebook logo or something. Uh, if you could please give us a thumbs up or like us on your Facebook page, that lets other people know about us. We greatly appreciate that. And thank you for watching, and we'll be adding other videos shortly. Thank you. Bye-bye.